sorry about that guys so we are at our next part so whew, i'm so excited for these um so anyway i've only seen these in like i said tj maxx and normally by the time i get them they're just they're really old and i think that they just don't work as good because like even the bath bombs but i've had gotten one where it worked beautifully so i'm really excited to try these so the first one is bring on the bubbly by bomb cosmetics and it's got this little sprinkles on it you got the champagne bottle how darn adorable is this and it smells like champagne now these are bath melts very similar to lush and i just got that in my nose oh but i'm very excited to try this out like have one that's actually fresh i'm so excited the next one i've had like the bath bomb with the little um mushroom on it, so i'm so excited for this this was called away with the rarities rainies away with the rainies okay whatever that means this is a bath mellow so these are like bath melts as well and this one's very very perfumey that's the thing with bomb cosmetics that i've learned if you don't like really strong florals i feel like because they are from england and i feel like at least in my experience with, like stuff from england a lot of them is over, very very floral as opposed to what americans would typically do um i've had turkish delights that a friend of mine has have brought back from the uk and they were in lavender and rose flavored and honestly i thought they were delicious but i know that a lot of americans do not like eating floral scents or flavors it's just a they just don't uh, i'm not saying all americans don't but majority of the people that i know in my country do not like floral flavoring i don't mind it though um but yeah bomb cosmetics is a very strong floral so if you're not into that then you probably wouldn't like it but i do love florals depending i'm not a big japanese cherry blossom though um but these are good the next one is walk the plank and i had to get this one these were about four bucks a piece like they were a little pricey but like I haven't seen them in actual stores, so I, I was just so happy to try one to look. It's got the little Jolly Roger, and he's got these little gold um, sprinkles, which I guess are like the doubloons. And this one isn't as floral. This is definitely more clean. Like, how I would describe this one is kind of um, like a snuggy softener. Like a uh, dryer sheet a little bit. I know that sound, probably doesn't sound the most appetizing, but... Then I got, um, I don't know if I still show these in the last one, but I'll show you them now. Um, homemade incense from the one shop. So I got 20 of the white tea, which I was almost out of. I think I might have actually used them up. Oh, it's so good. They had a peach one that I need, I, I want to go back one more time because I found something that I think would be a great Christmas gift. But, um there was like issues going on so i had to they're gonna call me and then hopefully i can schedule a trip to go pick it up or maybe they can mail i don't know but there was um peach incense that smelled amazing and then this is fig and bergamot oh my god it smells so refreshing i love bergamot it's one of my favorite scents as far as like when i buy from lush 90 percent of the things that i purchase from lush have bergamot in it and i just i live for it and then this store, which is also another one of my favorites, had Trilocha as well, and they've never had Trilocha. So I don't know if, if like, it's just becoming more of a mainstream thing. I, I'm just grateful for it. I just wish, like, local where I live in my state that they would get Trilocha, so I don't have to go all the way to New York to get it. But it's okay. So I've had both the cones and the sticks. They had a bunch of the sticks as well, but because I just spent at the Happy Hippie a bunch of sticks... I got this, but they were a little bit more pricier at this particular location, but that is fine. I just know happy hippie for the sticks. Um, but these guys did have the cones. And what I love about this, oh, I'll tell you the scent. It is in Dream Rose, which I've gotten like the, I used to get the packs where you could try a bunch of different ones. And I do remember loving the Dream Rose scent. So I got a bag of this and I could have bought easily five or six more. They had like a whole display of these. What I love about the Troloka cones, they actually come with a little clay one. I have from like my originals. I still use them. Um, I have so many now. I should just start using some of these newer ones. This is what it looks like. These are pink in color and I love them. Mmm. 
my love for incense and candles in general is a little scary i gotta say i love them too much one of my absolute favorite things in the world um these are about four bucks for 20. i think there's 20 in here no animal products no dipping doesn't say how many i think there's about 20 in here though this is how many grams. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's 20 sticks in these. No, maybe 10 sticks in here. Because if I do remember correctly, um, 10 sticks, yeah. I mean, is it for $3? Uh, no, that's about going rate as far as like, it's not a bad price. I don't think so anyway. I am so excited. I'm having some tea. I'm always drinking unsweetened tea. Sorry, guys. But I'm really, really excited to try out all my new goodies. Mm. Like I said, that's literally the main reason why I go to Woodstock is for incense. And like I've seen, I've been buying the Hem Incense on Amazon. You can get a whole pack. Oh, well, these are only $2. Whereas some, there is a place that I like to visit and she's almost $5 for one of these. And for an extra $2, I can get a whole case. But considering these were only two bucks a pop, I wasn't upset spending that. But since I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy, because just because it smells good doesn't mean that's how it's gonna smell when you burn it. Oh, I'm so excited though. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get going because I'm going to burn some of my lovely incense that I can't wait. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.